holding a weight. No way, no Jose. Uh, claiming that you run in the game. Uh, got no pause, no pace. Uh, Hi guys, welcome to the Art for the Heart YouTube channel. So we're back off, you know, from the hiatus and the whole holiday thing. So here with us is Masedi. You all probably know her as Black Iris, homegirl, which recently released a new EP. It is lit, you all gotta check it out. I'm gonna put the details like they you know, the whole description box thingy. It's cool. So we're gonna ask Masedi some questions. Should I refer to you as Masedi or Black Iris? Black Iris. Okay, so we're gonna ask Black Iris some questions and we're gonna get into it. So, Black Iris, <laughs> this sounds like one of those cliche questions. Who is Black Iris in your own words? Um, Black Iris is a rapper, a songwriter, a producer, an artist, and just a very creative and deep person <laughs> oh she's right there but then deep you gotta have conversations with her <laughs> you're yeah. gonna have crazy also how would you describe your music style um i'm still trying to figure that out but i noticed that i like a lot of um deep elements like or dark elements rather mm -hmm. um like pianos and uh, violin and stuff like that so I'd rather I describe it as like um, a very dark type of trap music so I'm still trying to figure out my own style and stuff like that but I would definitely say that dark is the right word to use because yeah but that's good I mean you're, you're you're coming up with your own style you're not being like the cliche copycat because if you do look at like music in the industry there's a lot of people with like the same sound releasing the same songs with this, basically the same thing and it's so sad when there's so many so many ways to be unique out there so small so out of all these hip-hop legends who do you think okay not the ones that i mentioned but just like any legend who do you think influenced you and your sound the most or inspired it and then the cliche ones would be like kendrick lamar mm. jay-z and stuff like that but jay's definitely eminem and kanye yeah that's good, because I'm like, I know that you're a fan of Jaden Smith, because, you know, Jaden Smith is a genius when it comes to, like, music. He is good. <laughs> On to the next question. Oh, this is something that everyone else wants to know. How do you balance your music career? And we in school, because you know school is hectic, and your personal life. <laughs> Um, I'm still trying to figure that out. I don't have an answer to be honest. Yes. Um, because I have I'm very weak in terms of like what my mind decides to do. If okay for people who you know want to enter the industry, so there are a lot of like platforms and stuff. Just like advice for them if they want to be musicians or just to enter like the musical industry because it's a very difficult industry to endure from what I've heard from a lot of people. So what advice would you give them? Um, I always tell this to people like, dude, before you get into any business, whether it's rap, whether it's accounting, whether it's law, you need to study the game. You need mm -hmm. to see how other niggas are doing it, how they've maneuvered, where they've messed up, where they've failed, where where they've done this and done that, so that when you're in there, you've already got so much notes on you, like, okay, Spun Bunny did this and this and this, and how mm -hmm. they failed and whatever. Like, for example, I get a lot of, um, not, not friends, but like, like associates who do music, right? Mm -hmm. And they get fucked over because they don't know how distributors work or mm -hmm. they don't know how label works stuff like that i'm like dude especially our generation we can't be getting fucked over like this anymore because yeah. everything is in the palm of our hands mm. we have the internet that explains literally every single thing like you have to physically take time out and go study the game like there have been days where i'd log into instagram and be on instagram for two hours not posting nothing not liking shit just studying people 
who are artists from America, from the UK, mm. from even South Africa, yeah. just studying how they market their music, how they promote stuff. And then I'll be like, okay, for my thing, I'm going to do like this. And just in addition to what they're doing, literally like everything about music or any business, you have to study it before you get into it. Otherwise, if you just work off passion without knowledge, you're going to get screwed over. And then it's going to be a waste of your passion, of your talent mm. in general. And that's what happened to our previous generation and generation before that. Our generation doesn't have to go through that because everything is accessed in our hands, on, on our phones. Like, we should really know better, but for some reason we don't. Mm -hmm. And the best advice I give to someone who wants to come into music is that you have to be prepared to have a lot of moments where you doubt yourself, where people tell you shit, where you don't even know anymore if you want to do this. I have those moments still right now, like where I'm like, yo, this music thing is difficult, this thing is da 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 You have to be prepared for those moments and be able to fight that and remember why you got into this music thing in the first place. So always remember why I started doing music. Mm. And that'll always keep you afloat live despite all the difficulties and stuff like that. Because even today, the biggest artists also go through the same thing of like, why am I here? What am I doing? Yeah. And they already have the money and the success, but they still have that moment of like, if this album going to be dope, is this song going to be dope or whatever? And that's what happens when you are a creative because you ultimately are creating something that's like making you vulnerable mm -hmm. to the world, to people. And that could either go there or there. It can be a good thing or a bad thing. People are different, right? Yeah. So it's not an easy business. Don't ever think it is. Just be prepared and just study the game, bro. Like just study the game, like really. <laughs> Yeah, you mentioned that you're going to have times <laughs> when you doubt yourself and when people make you doubt yourself. So how do you get over these times? And also, like, who is the one person, like, if you go to that person, they can always be, you can always be like, I left knowing that I can accomplish my dream, that this music career is it for me. So who's that one person you would go to? Um, Before my best friend passed away, it was him. I would, like, come at him and be like, yo, dude, Da, 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 da. Mm. But since he's passed, um, um, it would have to be my friend uh, Ndumi mm -hmm. and my manager, um, Loazi, who's also a good friend of mine, where I have moments where I'm just like, fuck, man, I don't know anymore. You know what I mean? And a couple of my other friends, but those two are the most, like, the ones I always run to, like, immediately, mm. like, dude, I'm not sure. You know what I mean? Like, even Ndumi, like, I played Ndumi, pricey first she was the first person um who heard pricey and then mm -hmm. i asked her like i'm thinking about dropping this one what do you think and she was like yo this is the one and i took her advice because i trust her i dropped pricey and everyone loved it do you get what i mean yeah. so it's definitely important to have those people and also those people have to be people that are honest because mm -hmm. it's easy to have a friend who's a yes man to protect your feelings and not telling you when shit is real you know what i mean and those two people, my friend Dumi and my manager Loazi, they were really like, they really like pull me together and be like, dude, no, relax. Because they know me, I panic, I'm paranoid. <laughs> so they always keep me in line and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're yeah. right. Like, it's, you're, it's important to have like the people because I mean, it's not easy. So I do get it. So it is important exactly. to have the right people around you. So, music and art, you know, <laughs> you're a big fan of art. You know, we've, we've spoken about art countless of times together. You have a whole company called Arts Entertainment. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm bad with names. I'm just making sure I'm, right. I'm saying the right name. So she has a company called Arts Entertainment. We also dropped the Insta link and everything. Created a whole beautiful festival earlier this year and then you know COVID ruined everyone's plans like always <laughs> but how important is art to you yo man art is literally my life like we even like every conversation that I have with friends mm -hmm. or fellow artists like it always centers around art whether it's rap music or R&B or anything like that like the other day when my, my one of my friends was here, we had a studio session. Mm. We were supposed to be recording, 
we spend three hours talking about rap music, <laughs> like playing songs and debating the yeah. bars in the one song and like the one nigga did this. Did you listen to this album? Mm. The one guy plays, yo, you gotta listen to this album. We're supposed to be recording. We spend like three hours just talking about music. And that's how I know, like, if I didn't have this, I would literally go insane. Like art to me has saved me so many times from myself, from from people, you know mm. what I mean? And even back when I used to paint, yeah. I would paint like a time when I'm angry at Spanbani and the way that I painted it, you could see that I'm going through a, a, a depressive state or mm. I'm angry with like, for me, everything that I do, even in the way that I dress, in the way that I talk, in the way that I am as a being, it's centered around art. Like mm. without art, you wouldn't have me. <laughs> You probably have someone else. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I get you. Because, I mean, the world without art is so boring and bland. And it's so weird. Because one of the things that I've been telling people is that art can be found everywhere. Like, in the tiniest of things. Because even cooking can be art. Even the way you style your hair can be art. Your fashion is art. I mean, a lot of people sat down, drew out your clothes designed it and then they made it someone else stitched it like all of that the whole process is art through so many different types of people thanks yeah Mm -hmm. our final question for you is (laughs) your ep is a beautiful ep the company you keep yes guys i'm so bad with names i am i'm the worst person (laughs) with names we're so good so the EP is amazing. Check it out. But out of the EP, if people had to listen to it and get a message from that one EP, what message do you think they should get out of it? Um, it's kind of self-explanatory. Explanatory, mm-hmm. yeah. Self-explanatory in the in the name, but essentially, when I started making the EP, mm-hmm. um, I started realizing like with my lyrics and content that I'm talking about losing people. I'm talking about cutting people off who held me back. I'm talking about niggas who are snakes, niggas who backstab, niggas Mm -hmm. who are just acting out wild and not being what a friend is supposed to be, what a brother is supposed to be, or what a sister is supposed to be. And to this day, like that was a process for me to this moment because essentially I was supposed to have a musical project out years ago. Yeah. But because of the people I was around, the, the kind of producers I was working with, that didn't happen. And now none of those people are around me anymore. And that's how this EP has now become, it's out, it's, it's out now because the company I'm keeping right now mm. is not those people anymore. Mm. And the message that I'm trying to put out to the listeners is that if you're trying to work towards something, whether it's music, whether it's being a lawyer, whether it's being an accountant, doctor, you need to be able to suss out who is actually inspiring you to be great, Mm -hmm. who's holding you back and who's just pessimistic. And I've had those three kinds of people my entire Mm -hmm. life. And now I'm trying to cut those off like completely. Like I don't want to be around someone who's going to make me doubt myself. I don't want to be around someone who's going to make me feel insecure about whether I can be honest about my feelings in a certain song. You know what I mean? Like if I want to be deep on a song, can I be deep on a song and, this producer I'm working with or this artist I'm working with, mm-hmm. are they going to be with that or are they going to make me feel some type of way about it? So essentially what I'm trying to say in this EP is that you need to be wary of the people you have around you because yeah. like the like the snippets even say, like, like the samples say, like mm-hmm. those people will determine the kind of person you'll be when you get to the place that you want to be. Yeah. And if you get there as well, because they could either be a deterrent as well. Yeah. So essentially it's just like in everything you do, man, whether it's music, whether it's poetry, just always watch who is around you. Be yeah. aware of your environment because that environment ultimately tells who you are. Like even in the yeah. in the intro, um, Bishop T D Jakes is like, show me your phone and I'll show you I'll tell you who you are and who your friends are, what kind of person you are. Yeah. Because the people you talk to every day, the people you're around every day, mm. they actually influence the kind of person you are and who you're going to be. Yeah. So if you're going to be around shitty people, you're going to be a shitty person. If you're around people who are t- pessimistic, who are not inspiring you, 
you're gonna be, you're gonna fall into that trap as well. Yeah. So I had to learn the hard way and had to start cutting people off. And shout out to those people for being what they were because yeah. here I am. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you're over there. Yes, you know, sir. and yeah, just 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 always look out for yourself. Number one, you are your number one fan. Mm-hmm. You are your number one priority. Fuck a friend, dude. If a friend is fake, clima. Clima, clima, clima. Don't ask questions. Yeah. Don't doubt yourself. Listen to your instincts. First and foremost. Clima, 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 clima. Yeah. Now I agree yeah. with you, Shame. I agree with you because friends be having you do some stupid things, some shady things, and then at the end of the day, you haven't accomplished anything. Like, and that's the sad part because of that one friend that you trusted, you haven't exactly. accomplished anything. So that is so sad. Oh, I yeah. no, I know, I know. I said that the other one was the last question, and it's not part of the list. But I have another question that just popped in my head. So, if you if you were okay. to feature with anyone, who are your top people? Like in the future. Because, I mean, we all start off somewhere small. But if you went to, to feature with, like, anyone, like, no restrictions, no nothing. Like, if you call them up and you hit them up right now, they'll be like, okay, now we can do this feature on the song right now. Who would they be? Like, three people. Three people? Yes, three people. Three artists that you'd feature. Like, um, yo, that's a fucking... Difficult question, especially when you give me three people. Um, okay. Kanye West, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, Eminem. I'd love to go bar for bar with Eminem. I'd love to do that. What was the third person? Uh, Rhapsody. Ooh. Rhapsody. Yes. Yo, Rhapsody. <laughs> yes. Rhapsody, for real. Rhapsody. Definitely would love that. Yeah, that would be nice. So we're going to keep faith. One day in the future, <laughs> you're going to get... I mean, Eminem released a new album without telling anyone. So it can happen. <laughs> it can happen yeah. in the future. So we're going to send the have <laughs> faith. The girl in the future, you're going to have your features with legends, with whoever you want to. And I can't wait to see you so I can be like, I knew her before she released anything. <laughs> that would be a good thing. <laughs> that would be a good yeah. thing. But then I'm like, I'm also proud though, because I know music has been your thing. I've been knowing you. I've been knowing you for three years now. Four years, three years. Since first year in university, met like by chance. And like, I'm proud to see like the progress that you've made and that you're actually living out your dream and that nothing is stopping you. So that is something that I'm so happy about. And I'm so glad that you dropped this EP, girl. And I'm excited for more. Hopefully a music video one day when we get the finances for it. Hopefully a music video. And thank you so much. For yeah, doing just give me some time, man. <laughs> give me some time, you know. Give me time, time, time. We'll get there. We'll get there. Wow. Yeah. This interview ended just in time. My battery is flat. <laughs> but thank you so much for, staying, <laughs> for being on the channel, for allowing us to interview you with regards to like your EP, with regards to your life. And just like getting into your head a little bit. It was nice talking to you and nice chatting to you. So guys, please go listen to our EP. Details will be down below on all your app on all the platforms. So it is on Apple Music, it's on Deezer, because I know I'm in a mobile. I had to switch from Spotify to Deezer because they don't have Spotify here. So it's on all the music platforms. It's all, even on YouTube, because I know people. Everyone loves YouTube. It's also on YouTube. So I'll attach the links down below and you're going to stream it and just show the girls some love and comment in the section. Like once once you listen to it, please comment what you think about the EP. Let's show the girls some love and just go, go follow her on Insta. She'll give you updates about the life and everything else when the new EP is dropping, information about everything. Just, she's a joy to watch. So just go follow her. And make sure to subscribe and <laughs> like. I always forget to subscribe, but make sure to subscribe and like. And thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Mercedes. <laughs> Thank you for having me. To any sort of deceit, the company I keep ain't the corporate type shit. Pay too much attention in return is the receipt. You were so deplorable, it's all.